Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about being patient and persistent. And these two words first came to my mind a long time ago when I was in the middle of this process of trying to attract my husband. And I've talked about this in past videos. We've been friends for many years and then just all of a sudden one day, oh, I fell in love with him. <laughs> I was like, this curtain was lifted and I'm like, oh my God, he's the perfect man for me. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I see this before? But I spent two years trying to make things happen, taking all kinds of effort. I was trying to organize dinner parties with mutual friends so he would be there. He was producing a band at the time. I was always at their shows, just showing, oh, I'm here. <laughs> and just trying, trying anything I could think of. You know, I would see him in the office uh, every once in a while and um, he would come by and see me but you know nothing was really happening and sometimes it felt like he was kind of coming around more but then it would taper off and i would get discouraged it was, so it was kind of all all back and forth all the time and it was really dependent on all of this effort i was putting all of this effort out and i would give up and date other people and then i would fall back in love with him again and this went on like i said for two years and there was one night where there was this event and it was a defining moment because i was in an i give up phase but it was, uh, it was for the release of his label and the album that was coming out on his label. It was this really big company event. And I saw him and I said hi and congratulations and all that. But it wasn't until later in the evening that I saw him dancing with somebody. And I had two very strong emotions. I was like, oh, look at him dancing, oh my gosh. Because he's very shy and doesn't like to be looked at or have any attention on him. Hope you can't hear the cat scratching at the door because she's scratching at the door. But I, my other emotion was, who is she? And this jealousy erupted in me. And, and in that moment, I decided, okay, you know what? I need to be patient and persistent until this happens. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it needs to happen. This is just, this is it. I feel in the depths of my soul, this is the right thing. And I'm just going to trust that somehow it's going to work out. And I'm just going to be patient and persistent until it does. And what's interesting is that same evening, somebody told me about Abraham Hicks and the Law of Attraction and sent me a tape the next day. And I started practicing. The process is on there. And within two months, we were together. So two years of effort versus two months of Law of Attraction and attention and energy work. But I want to come back to the patient and persistent part of it because even though I made that decision, I really thought it was gonna be a long road ahead, it was relatively short. But the, the thing that made me wanna do this message today was actually not that story. It's my cat, Boo Boo. He has this habit every week. When I wash the sheets on my bed, and when I'm making the bed again, he's got some little sixth sense that says, oh, she's making the bed, and he comes in, and he climbs up on the bed when I'm in the middle of making it. And he doesn't care that I'm trying to put the sheets around it and I have to work around him. He just, he sits, he's happy, he's content. And then I, I come up with the sheet like I'm going to put it over him and he just looks at me like, and? <laughs> so I have to gently nudge him so, and he'll move to an, another part of the bed. And he'll settle himself there and be all comfortable. And then I come over there and I have to do that corner. And so I can tell he's a little exasperated like, oh, okay. But he just keeps moving from place to place on the bed as I'm making it. And he is patient and persistent. He is determined to be planted on that bed because that is where he wants to be. So every step of the way, it's the fitted sheet. I have to move him around. Then the flat sheet, I gotta move him around. And then the blanket, same thing. He's like, ooh, this is soft. And then the comforter over that. And finally, I think he knows when the comforter's on, he's like, oh, cause he looks at me like, are we done now? But the, <laughs> the point is he gets to where he wanted to be. He wanted to be relaxing on the bed and he just kept going there. No matter how times, how many times I had to move him, he got disrupted. But I just thought that was the greatest example of patience and persistence because he's, he's just determined this is what he wants and he is going to have it. And he ends up with it every week. And then he sits there and he's comfortable. And as soon as I leave the room, he loses interest and he follows me. So, <laughs> But he gets what he wants in the moment. And I, I have to admire that, even though it's a little annoying that I have to keep working around him when I make the bed. I do, I admire him for that. So I just, I had to share that story with you because it so impressed me. And it was just such a great lesson for me watching him. 
So I just want to encourage you that if there's something that you want and you keep getting deterred for one reason or another or something is moving you off your path, you keep getting displaced on the way to this goal, just be patient and persistent and hold that good energy. Imagine that you're already there. Just keep your eye on the future goal as if it's already done and just imagine how it's going to feel when you're done because I know every time boo boo moves he's like oh I'm here I'm comfortable and then I have to move him again but he still holds on to that this is where I want to be I just want to relax here and be comfortable here so I know he doesn't start thinking oh it's not working I can't be comfortable I, he's not thinking that he's like I'm, uncom I'm comfortable here right now so I want you to do the same thing. I want you to look at where you are and appreciate it. And if you're on your way somewhere, just know that you're gonna get there. And just make that decision to be patient and persistent and have faith that the forces that be are gonna conspire on your behalf because you're holding on to that so strongly that yes, this is where I'm going and I don't care how long it takes me to get there. Because we also have that thing of, I want it now. Very Veruca Salt, I want it now. So just be patient. That's one of the things, patience. You will get there and persistent. Hold on to that dream. Keep your eye on the goal. Imagine how it's gonna feel when you get there. And try to enjoy every step of the way because you know, it is, the journey can be a good one if you choose to enjoy it. So make it a good one while you're being patient and persistent. And if you have ways that you have done this in the past, if you have stories like mine with my husband or like little Boo Boo, share it with us below. We'd love to hear about it. You'll encourage and inspire other people who are on their way to, to their own goal right now and maybe need a little bit of encouragement. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, forward to your family and friends. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every week, jump on over to my website, tannamarshall.com and get on the mailing list. And with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend and just be patient and persistent that you're going to have a great weekend because I believe that you are. Keep the faith and those goals and dreams will materialize. I'll see you next time.